This is still developing story. We're joined by Professor Eitan Gilboa, Professor of Political Science at Bar-Ilan University. I uh, always appreciate your expertise here on the program. Uh, what appears to be the main purpose of this dire U.S. assessment at this point? Putin wants to replace the pro-Western government of Zelensky in the Ukraine. This, in his mind, would assure, would guarantee that Ukraine will never appeal for membership in NATO. The United States is very much concerned about uh, the disagreements inside NATO, especially between Germany and other states. Germany is much more fast, uh, uh, softer on, on Putin because of all kinds of economic and political interests. So the message is uh, we, that, we, that we expect a major war, not something small uh, on, uh, of the scale that happened um, uh, in 2014 when the United States uh, took over uh, the Krimai Peninsula. This could be a major war that could have uh, significant implications for all of Europe. And therefore, we have to present one position toward Putin, and it should be a very harsh position. Now, how much of this may have been, with your knowledge of U.S. domestic affairs here, how much of this was aimed at the American public, perhaps, further in enhancing the importance of standing strong around Ukraine in this moment of uncertainty? Yes. Uh, well, Americans are concerned, have always been concerned about Russia. They, there are many people who still remember the Cold War. But uh, today, the major issues in, uh, in, in America are the economy, inflation, and still the pandemic. And therefore, they have less attention. But Biden knows that he, if he fails uh, to deter uh, Russia, and if Russia is successful in taking over the Ukraine, this could cost him the 222 congressional elections. Now, you touched on this in your uh, first response here, but looking at the Russian motivations at this point, do you see another way for them to achieve those goals that you l outlined uh, initially here? In other words, what's Vladimir Putin's game with this manufactured crisis? First of all, we have a lot of diplomacy and psychological warfare. Uh, Putin was in, uh, on Friday, he was in Beijing uh, to coordinate a, a strong position against the United States. He had partly achieved that, uh, looking at the, uh, the statement made by the two leaders. Uh, the statement did not mention the, the Ukraine specifically but talked about American, so to speak, imperialism, both in Asia and Europe. Uh, President uh, of France, Macron, is going to visit Moscow tomorrow and the Ukraine on Tuesday. Uh, he, he is inserting himself as a, as a mediator. Uh, the main goal is to prevent that uh, major war in the Ukraine. Uh, uh, the Olympic uh, Winter Olympic Games are going to end on February 2020. Uh, it is likely that Putin would not do anything until uh, the games are over. Otherwise, he might find himself uh, in, in a confrontation with Xi Jinping, uh, the president of China. So the basic assumption is that if Putin this, uh, had, uh, had decided uh, to invade the Ukraine, it will happen. Uh, the end of February, the beginning of March. Now, uh, another potential angle here, looking at this Ukraine crisis, how much might it be tied to other major geopolitical issues at this point with uh, Iran talks, for instance, going on? Very closely. Uh, everybody is watching what will happen in the Ukraine. We just heard that the Biden administration decided to lift some sanctions over Iran as a gesture. It may have to do something with it. Uh, China obviously ha has uh, said many times that they want uh, Taiwan to be part of uh, the mainland uh, China. So if Putin is successful and the United States comes uh, uh, defeated in this incident, uh, in, this, in this warfare, then it, it, it would diminish the United States uh, standing in the world as, as, a, as a power, as a superpower. And it will have negative implications for American positions, both in Asia and the Middle East. Professor Eitan Gilboa, host of uh, the top tier geopolitical issues on the agenda, clearly with all this crisis. Thanks for being with us to break it down.